In this video, I'm going to compare the classic snap trap to a new electronic trap by Victor. And we're going to compare these two, classic versus new. This is electronic, takes batteries. This is the old standard. I'm going to discuss the pros and cons of each. I'll be testing these outside where owning dogs is something to consider with either traps. Of course, never, ever, ever, ever use poison baits to kill mice. If you own any pets, dogs, cats, doesn't matter. Every day our pet emergency room treats a pet that ate the mice or rat poison. It's highly toxic. It can kill your dog. It's very serious and extremely expensive to treat. Post in the comments below what do you like to bait your mouse traps with. We're going to discuss that in just a minute. And Miko the Husky is going to help with this video. <laughs> So, where do I know where to put the traps? Miko's gonna show me. His nose is so good. Anywhere he's sniffing is where I wanna put some traps. All right, Miko, let's touch our golf boy. He's sniffing along here, so we're probably putting another trap along here. Miko sniffed out this hole. We didn't even know this hole was here. And so far, this is where we caught a lot of mice. So let's set up our trap. I caught him digging over here. Snap traps work, but I gotta put it where the huskies don't get it. These snap traps work great, but if I don't cover them, the huskies will try to get the peanut butter off of them. They'll snap them. We do catch a mouse. They try to eat it out of the trap. Okay, so let's get our traps ready. I'm using, using natural peanut butter. Post below, do you like creamy or crunchy? I got crunchy, that's what I had. Although crunchy's a little harder to load these little snap traps. I'm telling you, if the dogs, if the dogs can get to it, they try to eat the peanut butter. Sometimes the baby mice eat the peanut butter and they're not heavy enough to snap the trap. All right, I got that one ready. But let me show you this trap right here. It's two parts. It separates. When you get this, link is in the description below. You're gonna put four batteries in there, just like that. Shows you on the side what direction to put them in. Very simple. This part is the trap. Little contacts here. Open this up. That's where you put the bait. Again, we're using peanut butter. Mice comes in here, touches, I think touch both plates. Dead. Quick, humane electrocution. You're gonna line up these things. Just line them up. Push it together. It shows you that lock is that way and lock that way. Turn it on. So when you, when you turn it on, green light means it's on. And when you catch a mouse, there's two ways to know if you caught a mouse. One, you'll see a tail sticking out the back. Or two, this will be flashing. Let's go set these traps out. Here's where they are. This is either a nest or it's a travel highway. And I got four mice very here yesterday. I'll put it right here. There's no rain in the forecast, so I'm using this. I know there were some babies here. The dogs were eating the babies. And here I put a trap here where the huskies can't really get to it very good. So I'm gonna eat the peanut butter. But the uh, trap didn't spring. But the electronic trap is working a lot better. Disclaimer, these are not for outdoor. They say they're not waterproof. It can cause a spark, so know that. These are for indoor only. No rain's in the forecast, and it's working great. Okay, did you see that blink of light right there? That means you have something in the trap. And so be prepared. You might see a tail sticking out the back. And actually you do, there's a tail right there. If you wanna deal with this, then make disposable sections here. But also, you could put on some gloves. Nothing wrong with gloves. Let's go and I'll show you how to empty this. All right, with your gloves on, go ahead and turn this off. And turn this to unlock, so. If you bought extra of these, you just throw this away. If not, there's a mouse right there. He's dead. I'm not going to show you on the camera. Let's open this up. Big mouse right there. That's a big one. Dump them. Put some more peanut butter in there. Close this up. Snap it back together. 
put it in place and turn it back on. All right, let's go talk about this trap. Look down here. Oh, we got another one. Oh yes, you know, these spring traps work good. They're like a dollar. You could throw them away, put gloves on, rebate it and put it back out there again. These, these work, but your dogs can get to it and eat the dead mouse. I don't really don't want that. All right, so in conclusion, if you want a mouse trap that works, I highly recommend this one. The link is in the description below. It's not very much money. I caught four mice in one day. I was out there every two hours checking the traps. Maybe I could have caught more because Miko, our husky, showed me where to put the traps. I was like one of the best traps is the cheap $1 uh, spring trap. But like I just showed you, it leaves the animal exposed. The husky's going to run out there, try to eat the mouse. So electronic trap is cool. They can't get in there, eat the mouse. Usually if there's a mouse in that electronic trap, our husky Miko runs right over there and I, I can tell ahead of time there's going to be a mouse in the trap. Thanks for watching. Classic snap trap.